Oh boy, we have made it to the back of the truck. Be eating you. This is where I'm going to have my last memory right here. He's going to throw me in. There's the creepy old phonograph, the record player, that's going to be playing Jeepers Creepers as I take my last scream. And there's all his tools he's going to use to, to turn me into lunch. Ah, this is where I come to an end. Well, hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure brings us to Carolina Fear Fest in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the fifth year for this particular event, and you see behind me already, there's a statue of Michael Myers. So there's lots of vendors set up here. They've got some celebrities here that are doing meet and greets and question and answer panels. There's also supposed to be the Jeepers Creepers truck here, which I'm a fan of that movie, so I'm going to see if I can get video footage of all of this. As I'm filming this, this is May 26, 2024. This is the last day of it. It's been a three-day event, all Memorial Day weekend. So I'm here on the last day, hoping that the crowd is not as busy. So join us if you dare. One, two, spooky five. We are legal and we are making our way inside. First thing we see is a bunch of uh, scary masks. So let's start checking stuff out. Got a Michael Myers animatronic up here. He's for sale for 800 bucks. This is the collector's den. There's all kinds of horror masks back here. Of course, you see Michael Myers, you see Freddy Krueger. See some clown masks and check out this. Oh, can I? Thank you. I've been invited in. Here's the crypt kitties here. Got some of these October Studios masks. So, yeah, I did not even notice this. The floor is lava. The actual floor is lava as we're over here looking at all of these cool Halloween masks. Freddy, Jason, Michael, Leatherface, you name it, there's all of them. I'll check this one out. We have a zombified Santa Claus here. Gives new meaning to Silent Night, Deadly Night. This isn't an animatronic. This is just a mannequin dressed up like a zombie Santa. Here, of course, is the witch from Silver Shamrock. Well, as some other, looks like there's a punk rock guy. Looks like he could be from The Living Dead from 86, Return of the Living Dead. We've got a lot of these figures also. I've never seen this one specifically, the Elvira where she's laying on the couch. Seen plenty, but never that one before. And I've never seen this Iron Maiden Number of the Beast figure either. It's put out by NECA. You can see Eddie there rocking his, his chucks, his converse been here like five minutes this was my first booth i came to and this is the collector's den and she was asking me if i was a vlogger so yes. we just we've just subscribed to each, each other. other give a shout out to your youtube so my subscribers can come and follow you hopefully Great. our youtube channel is collector's den halloween there you go give them a subscribe like comment subscribe all that stuff that you do for us do for them and check out all the cool stuff that they have here available yes. it's an awesome booth it's the first booth you see as soon as you walk in. So, so far, I am surprised. It is a pretty big turnout for a Sunday afternoon. We gotta check this out over here. It's not every day that you see Freddy Krueger just chilling, playing video games. But only here will you see Freddy Krueger just chilling, playing video games. I'm not even sure if that's a real man or if that's a mannequin. I'm not sure. He's not moving. There's some more vendors. We've got some of these Ben Cooper style wall arts hanging up. And above it, we have Castle Grayskull. I don't see how Castle Grayskull fits in with a, a horror convention, but I know that toys are always a big thing 
at any kind of convention. Also some killer clowns from outer space here. So it says no photography, but we're going to be brave here. And I'm going to show you that over there, there's the creeper with the truck from Jeepers Creepers. And right beside it is the goblin face from Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. How cool is that? I always got nightmares when I would look at that creeper truck. But you do have packages here that you can take a photo with to get a picture. See this person over here, they're strangling the creeper right now. And I'm assuming this is the authentic creeper's truck. I don't think there's a replica of this at all. Creepy. There we go, we can see it right there. There's the creeper, he was just staring at me. I think he's thinking about throwing me in the back of that truck and throwing me down that chute by that house so I'll never be seen again. I'm gonna look at some of the creeper's weapons right here. You see some of the daggers, you see his, his little sickle. See so much of what you saw in the movie, original material from the driver's seat, the creeper's truck that was used in the film. There it goes, there's a close-up of the truck. See, there's the bag, it'll be bloody with my, my blood-stained corpse in there pretty soon. I stayed a little too long in this area and now my worst nightmare has come true. You're gonna throw me down that chute, aren't you? He's gonna throw me down that chute on those bloody, bloody sheets in that church. He's already showing, I'm going in the truck. I'm going in the truck, I'm gone. I just wanted to have... So here's a little bit of the backstory of how the Green Goblin from Maximum Overdrive ended up in North Carolina. I'm not going to read that. You guys can just kind of slow it down and read it for yourselves. And here you go. This is the original screen used Green Goblin head from Maximum Overdrive. Again, you can just kind of slow this down, go with it, and read it at your own leisure, www.thegoblinproject.com. One of my favorite movies from back in the day for sure. It's pretty cool seeing that in person. I had no idea that it was as big as it is. It's freaking huge. There's also t-shirts that you can buy also. But yeah, it is super cool seeing the Green Goblin from Maximum Overdrive up close in person. So we've seen the Creeper's truck and the Green Goblin side by side in one afternoon. I would consider this a win all day long. This is an unusual scene here. We've got a Beetlejuice werewolf and another werewolf hugging with one another. But here you go, here's some of the meet and greet areas over here. There's the Jonathan Brick area. There's Jenna Jameson, I believe. Yeah, that's Jenna Jameson right there. Looks like she's in the middle of an interview, so I won't bother her. There's the little pale girl from Terrifier. And there's Tom Arnold over here. And then we have Nancy from A Nightmare on Elm Street chilling over here. She did a Q&A session yesterday, I believe, on Saturday. Check out this cool uh, statue of the Creeper. That's how he looks when he's ready to devour his next victim. Cool be eating you bumper sticker, license plate, and beanie. As well as some of the glossy photos that you can get autographed. This is Jonathan Breck from Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, and 3. We got a cosplayer coming our way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I bit off more than I can chew. Oh, no. Now I found another one. Uh, I don't think I want to play. I don't think I want to play. Rub, pretty, pretty boy. I didn't even think I was a pretty boy. Uh, I, I, let's, what happens? Oh, boy. I tickled his funny bone, I guess. So to be expected, I think David Arquette was only here on Friday night and Saturday. 
I don't think he's here for the final day. So it shows my stupidity. I saw a tattooed blonde and I thought it was Jenna Jameson. That was not Jenna Jameson. Jenna Jameson is over here at this booth. So I apologize for mistakenly saying the other girl was Jenna Jameson. This was Jenna Jameson's booth over here. I mistook her for the other girl over there by the Jeepers Creepers booth, but this is Jenna Jameson. I'm accurate now. There's Jenna Jameson all day long. And this is the Myers house, North Carolina. They do like a lot of Michael Myers, you know, recreations. They even have like a Michael Myers house, I believe. But this is not the car from Halloween. This is the car from It Follows. It Follows is a creepy movie. Basically about a, can we call it an STD? That basically bounces from person to person. And the only way to get rid of it is to sleep with another person. But anyway, here is the movie. If you've never seen It Follows. got the old school TV here playing with the VHS tapes the blob got a cool hoodie here the Myers house the boogeyman is coming myershousenc.com Texas Chainsaw Massacre the legs have been cut off it's got the catheter bag in and my friends back he, he was he shaving his legs? No, I was trying to give him a big squeeze up. Well, what happened down here? Well, he got a little hungry. He wasn't my belly like this. Did it? Did it taste like chicken? No, it tasted like shit. Because apparently he's got a sore in his mouth, probably can't get off. Is is he okay? Is he just napping? I don't What's... know what he's doing. He's been there for a couple of days. We told him they were offering therapy. He didn't want to go. They they don't look like they're in any shape to offer therapy. I don't, I don't listen to much what Papa Joe says or anyway. You got the lazy eye. I, I, I don't think he's seeing eye to eye with us right now. Yeah, I think he's got. He needs to go to an optometrist or whatever. I don't doing. think they can help him at this point. I, I don't think. Uh, is she okay? I don't know. It looks like he's praying, but. I don't think I don't I don't yeah I don't think prayers are gonna help her at this point I think it's a little too late for that. Yeah, this guy's good. There we go, backwoods props. I'm about to have a showdown. I'm I'm putting my money on the the bigger one. Oh, they're just gonna hug it out. They're just gonna hug it out. They're they're good now. They're gonna hug it out. It's like over here we've got the Holt farm drive through drive-in. I believe this is like a drive through haunted attraction that they do during spooky season. Also got some clowns down here just clowning around. Terror Manor t-shirts. I made a new friend here. He's gonna give a shout out to. I gotta give a shout out to Holler and Hunch, baby. He told yeah, me to. He told me to come out and see him if I survive oh. today. That is. If you do, that's a big if. I don't think I'm gonna survive. I'm well, surrounded. This right here reminds me of the old movie Microwave Massacre. If you've never seen Microwave Massacre, you've got to check it out. It's a great '80s B movie. Enough said with the title, right? This really makes you ready for lunch. So I was mistaken. David Orquette is here today. He's currently doing a QA. and a I got to work and become really close with Paul Rubin. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's Dewey himself. Yes. I wish someone would ask him what it was like to be WCW World's Champion. There you go. This is the original Hollywood Horror Show in Snow Camp, North Carolina. There you go. The Toolbox Killer is back. 
This is basically a horror movie film company based out of North Carolina. Maybe I should try my hand at acting. Maybe I can be the antagonist, or maybe I can be the victim. But yeah, some of these were actually used in some of the actual movies. This guy over here, he's just kind of resting right now, right? Yeah, he's a little tired. That's actually last life-size bust that Vincent Price ever had made. Wow. So Vincent Price had this made? Yeah, the brothers actually did it for him. Wow, how about that? That bust was made during the filming of Edward Scissorhands. That was actually one of his how about that? Yeah, I figured he was just taking a nap because the convention wore him out. This was actually from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It was used in that, and they actually won an Emmy for the makeup design on this. Check these guys out. The original horror show. Of course, if you watch this channel enough, you know how much I love vintage horror. So check out some of these old wall decorations. These are the Return of the Living Dead. You get five cutouts. There's the Tar Zombie. But they've got that old school 60s and 70s and 80s look for these old paper cutouts. This is the stuff that I love so, so much. They even have Ghostface. And some more of these. even Valentine's as well as black light posters check out the tapestry here the season they come home you've got Michael standing up there in front of the Myers house then you've got the silver shamrock Halloween 3 trick-or-treating kids running below then we've got <laughs> Chucky down here saying you've got to be this tall and then look at these tattoo type designs very cool old school tattoo sheet and there is actually a tattoo vendor on site here that's running specials for spooky tattoos of course what is any horror convention without t-shirts we see the exorcist we see sam we see elvira creep show godzilla ghostface night of the living dead nightmare on elm street three dream warriors Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Saul, They Live, Carrie, there's Captain Spaulding, Lost Boys, Jaws. They also have some of these cool posters that are $12 each, are three for 30. Nice collection of VHS horror. Reminds me of my days at uh, mom and pop video stores, begging my mom to Get me a horror movie VHS to enjoy over the weekend. And especially if it was a weekend like what I'm doing right now, Memorial Day weekend, we would run a whole stack of movies, horror, wrestling, you name it, and just enjoy the weekend. There's Poison, the Poison music video collection. That can be scary, right? And if anyone was asking themselves, why is Jenna Jameson at a horror convention. It's because she was in zombie strippers, of course. Okay, so if you look down here, you see Bill Mosley from The Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses. Of course, he played Otis. And here he goes in one of my favorite roles in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. One of the most infamous scenes I'll always remember is when he goes and breaks into a radio station out in the middle of the desert. He's picking the skin off of his rotten corpse-like face with a coat rack. And he's eating the dead skin and the flies and saying, Music is my life, man. Me and Bubba, my little brother, we listen to you every night. Music is my life. But Bill Mosley was supposed to be here at Carolina Fear Fest this weekend, but I read on the Facebook page 
that Bill Mosley got hit by a bicyclist while he was out exercising. Only in North Carolina, Bill Mosley, you come all the way from Hollywood or wherever and you get taken out by a cyclist and can't make the convention. This is the last time you saw the child dressed as Michael Myers or as Jason or as Sam. That's pretty cool. Oh, Donald Kruger. Look at Donald Kruger. Donald always is grouchy anyway, but... And then there's Mickey Jason. Of course, that fits in with all the Mickey Mouse horror movies that's going to be coming out pretty soon. And then, of course, there's Goofy Leatherface. Of course, my favorite's going to be Donald Kruger. So this is the Haunted Screams Expo. They put on stuff for spooky season every year. And up here we've got this big menacing werewolf. But here's the host and he's going to give us a little bit more information about the Haunted Screams Expo. Hello everyone. So Haunted Screams Expo comes around in September at the very last weekend. We are so stoked to have it come out, out in Hampton, Virginia once again. Come on out there. The whole concept is you go up to go through a haunted house. It comes out to 150 vendors so that you earn your right to shop. And then we bring out anywhere from 13 to 20 celebrities for you to meet. We have Rocky Horror Picture Show live late at night. We have the dance party. We have all kinds of really cool stuff. I think you guys will enjoy it. So don't miss out on this. And she was just telling me you guys are trying to get the Misfits on board. Is that correct for this year? Well, you know, as of right now, uh, we do have Dr. Chud signed, ready to go. He will be there. And you are, you are honestly the first person that we have told anywhere on social media but we will be launching him really soon. Well, how about that? Breaking news right here on the Black Arts Club. First person to get the inside scoop. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. So be sure to check out Haunted Screams Expo. And where can they find you all on social media? All right, just go to hauntedscreams.com if you want to go to our website, or you can look us up on Facebook or Instagram and just follow us there. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. And, of course, here is your photo op area where you can pose in front of the creepy Carolina Fear Fest. Would you call that a mausoleum entrance, maybe? Looks like a mausoleum entrance. 3D horror decor, more of these vintage style. You see the jack-o'-lantern, you see the vampire. Very old school, loving all of it. As well as some of these patches, they look old school also. Also have some pillows here. These look like Ben Cooper masks here. Halloween masks. You can even see the artwork on the side. It says Old Creeps. Not a bad price either, 25 bucks. Definitely a throwback to my childhood. Looks like this one is possibly a witch. I guess these are all of the different styles you can get. And there's more over here, and the box is more wide open so we can see the actual detail. Like here we go, the monster mask. This one is cool here with the witch. And we've got like the creature from the Black Lagoon back here wearing the 3D glasses. Definitely digging the witch one. Cool tales from the Crypt Trucker hat, as well as some of these stickers here. Custom made tombstones. Freddy Krueger, see you in your dreams. The Skellingtons. Judith Myers, of course. Charles Manson, Helter Skelter. Grim Reaper back there telling us we're next. Here lies Beetlejuice. Of course, there's Scream Ghostface. Oh no, Zero passed away. No, not Zero. Poor Zero. Looks like this is supposed to be Annabelle in the lockbox down here. Oh, this is nightmare fuel. Look at these skin suits. Look at the flesh apron with all the faces on it. Human pilts. Oh man, this is creepy. 
Oh, look at the tie. Father's Day is coming up. How about this for Father's Day? Great Father's Day gift right there. Nice tie. Or this. And these rats have seen a better day. Cigarette box fairy. The mermaids. Uh, there's a cowboy hat. As well as some baseball hats. Oh, this uh, plague doctor has seen better days. Oh, noodles for brains. This is noodles for brains. Oh, this is giving me Motel Hill vibes right here. Oh, look at this gumball machine. Wow. Cannibal Holocaust. Who doesn't need this horror lamp in their living room, right? Nice addition for any spooky house. Legend of the Mothman. Well, I think it's about time to get a bite to eat because they do have a restaurant here on site. But I can honestly say that I don't think any of this is really looking appetizing to me at the moment. I'm hoping that the restaurant that they have on site here will have a something a little bit more appealing to the taste buds so I don't do that to my lunch. It does look like they're keeping it warm with the heat lamps. Good to know. So I think after looking at the menu we will be getting lunch somewhere else. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up this video at Carolina Fear Fest, the fifth year, and it was a great turnout on the last day. So yeah, I returned to the scene of the crime to do my outro here in front of the creeper truck. So if you're new here and you like this type of content, we do all things spooky here on the Black Hearts Club. So how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club? And until next time, I'm gonna get out of here before that creeper comes back because I was lucky enough to escape him, my first encounter, but the next time may not be as lucky. I'm waiting for him to come out from the back of that truck anytime now. So until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.